Hello and welcome to the first AVR TV episode of 2008. 2007 was a good year for the AVR, we hope it was for you too, and that 2008 will be even better. We wrapped up last year with a little AVR mystery, to which we received some relevant response. The SDK 600 was frequently mentioned. The SDK 600 is a new, complete starter kit for AVR 8 and 32-bit flash micros. It resembles the SDK 500 with lots of uh, pin headers, uh, LEDs and buttons, but it has USB connectivity to your PC and this new wafer system for max versatility. You have the base connector on the SDK 600 motherboard where you insert these routing cards for supporting different pin layouts, then add socket cards on top according to the package type that you're using, creating this wafer. Simple. The SDK 600 comes with an 80 mega 2560 pre-soldered directly onto a demo routing card, and then you order these routing and socket cards separately as needed. And this is the box that the SDK 600 comes in. Not much more to say actually, the SDK 600 is already shipping and should cost about $199. But what nobody guessed in the AVR TV Christmas mystery, even though we have mentioned it indirectly on AVR TV in 2007, is this. The AVR1 is a new powerful development tool for on-chip debugging and programming of all AVR and AVR32 devices. All AVR and AVR32. All AVR and AVR32 devices. Yes, that's right. All AVR and AVR32 debugging interfaces will be supported, including JTAG, debug wire, PDI, and the Nexus auxiliary interface for high-speed trace. The programming interfaces that will be supported are ISP, JDAG and PDI. PDI stands for Program and Debug Interface and is an Atmel proprietary interface based on the debug wire protocol. PDI is developed specifically with the new XMega AVR family in mind, being released at Embedded World in Nuremberg as I speak. I keep mentioning AVR32 support here, but the intention with the AVR1 is of course, as the name implies, to have one debugger to rule them all. So, even though initial support is for UC3 and AP7 devices, all AVR devices, Tinys, Megas, UC3, all the way up to the AP7s, will be supported. Existing and future devices. So, what do you get with AVR1 that you don't get with the JTGIS Mark II? Both units will provide basic programming and debugging features like flow control, hardware and software breakpoints, data breakpoints, etc. But only the AVR1 provides buffered or streaming program, data or ownership trace. Streaming trace is useful for slower applications where the host computer will be able to continuously receive data from the trace target. For faster and or more complex, complex target applications, buffered trace is the way to go. The AVR1 unit connects to your host computer by USB, of course, and requires an external power supply that's included in the box. All the software that you need can be downloaded from our website for free. RZ Raven is a new and very interesting demo and evaluation kit from Atmel. It actually demonstrates quite a few AVR features, concepts and products. Um, it primarily demonstrates our 2.4 GHz wireless platform, but also our USB parts, our Pico power technology, etc. Included in the kit is two AVR Ravens and one RZ USB stick, free firmware including 802.15.4 Mac and communication stacks and free PC software. The Ravens themselves are uh, wireless platforms in the AVR Butterfly format. They have 2.4 GHz radio connectivity through Atmel's AT86RF230 chips. 
They have 160 segment LCDs, two megabytes of serial flash, a joystick, temperature sensor, microphone, oh yes, and a speaker. And on board, uh, Mega 3290p controls the LCD and the other user interface elements. And the Mega 1284p handles Zigbee stack and RF communications. This solution has been chosen to leave maximum room for the for user application, and both can be programmed by the user. The RZ USB stick, which is a compact uh, PC gateway, also contains an RF230 chip to communicate with the Ravens. The free PC software contains a demo and management suite and a wireless protocol analyzer. For good demo effect, it can, for example, send a text message to both of my Ravens right here. Hello, world. Cute. Uh, the Ravens are FCC ETSI certified and will be available for uh, $99 resale. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more exciting AVR news next time. See you then.